Hi everyone, Whitney here from WhitneySews.com and I recently needed a gift for a baby shower so I didn't really know what to do so I went through all my fabrics and came across some really cute printed flannels that someone had given me a long time ago and it inspired me to make a rag style baby quilt and so that's what I made out of it and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I cut three squares from three different flannel prints measuring 12 and a half by 12 and a half inches and nine 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch squares from the same tiny gray corduroy that I used for my purse. If you want to see how I cut out all my squares super quickly and easily, then click the cutting tips link down below in the description box. So start by placing the backing fabric right sides down, then a printed piece right sides up. Use a long ruler and a marking tool to draw from corner to corner in both directions to form an X. I'm using a white charcoal pencil that washes away easily. Pin the two layers together in several places. Then sew right along the lines you drew. Repeat until you have all nine sets done. Lay out the pieces to determine the pattern you want. Put a pin in the first block of each row to help you keep everything in order. Then, one row at a time, place the first two blocks wrong sides together, lining up the edges. Sew down the one side to attach with a half inch seam allowance. Open it up and place wrong sides together with the third piece. Sew to attach. Repeat with all three rows and lay back out in order. Now sew the rows together the same way as the blocks. Place wrong sides together and sew with a half inch seam allowance. Once all the rows are together, sew a seam all the way around the outer edge at a half inch. Now all you have left is to snip all the seam allowances and the outer border about every half inch. This is great to do while watching TV. Just make sure not to cut over the seam lines. Once you're done, wash and dry the blanket a time or two to loosen up the cut edges and make them soft and then you're done. I also made a heated rice bag and a small string of bunting to hang over the crib and I was ready for the baby shower and I'll have the links to those two tutorials in the description box as well. So I hope you like how my baby blanket turned out. It can be made in any size, in any colors, any types of fabric um, and it will still turn out great. Um, don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed the tutorial and subscribe for all my upcoming videos and I will see you all later. Bye!